In this lesson, you will learn how to use the OData protocol of ALM Octane using Excel. OData is a great um, possibility to provide structured data in order for you to create reporting and pivot tables as you like. You can use different tools which supports the OData protocol, um, the whole Microsoft uh, Office 360 package. There are different tools like Power BI, Excel, uh, which supports OData as well as uh, BI tools like Click or Tableau uh, are supporting OData. So you can use those tools to uh, collect the data and create reporting externally in case needed uh, using uh, Power BI or other BI solution. And in this um, lesson, you will learn how you can do the communication uh, using Excel. So let me open Excel. So, sorry, my Excel is in uh, German. But anyway, let's go to the tab data in order to connect to O data. And here, query data from other sources. And here, you will find O data feed. Yeah. So, from O data feed, I would like to query the data. And now let's enter. The URL. But this is my URL. We have the O data protocol. I, I will be using the version four. Then shared spaces, the ID of the shared space, workspaces, and the ID of the workspace. Now it should come up. I have been logged in already uh, last time. That's the reason why it is cached otherwise you would have to re-authenticate again so after authentication is done you can see that you are connected to this workspace and you see all the different um, collections which are provided through this OData protocol and now you can select the collection you want let me go for the defect and I would uh, load it now. So let's load the defects. It will be loaded here into this uh, sheet, uh, table two. And what I can also do, I can, it's already opened. So here I can also go to um, edit query. So let's edit the query and now the Query tool opens of Microsoft Excel. And using this tool, I can now see my data in raw. So let's look here. I can see all the different attributes. So first of all, I see all the flat attributes. And in the quick introduction, I told you that there are also um, related attributes references so these can be seen here so you can see they are marked with records and i can also instead of saying i would like to uh, bring this in as pure values i can click on this column and say i would like to have the name of the phases so i know it directly in one sheet so they are represented here and on the priority i would like to also name it in order to really see what is behind those values. So let's go here again, more to the left side. You can see maybe there should be the defect type, for instance, I would like to take. And also for the defect type, I would like to have the names. So there's null, okay. So let's go to the next one, product areas, release, QA owner, detected by, so these are also um, values I would like to know. So let's say I would like to see the name. I can see here the name severity is uh, a value I would like to know. So, and once you have done all this query, you can see here um, Excel has built the customized uh, steps and uh, query. Once you are done, you can say I would like to close and load. And now this is being loaded into my current sheet and I'm able to see the data here in this Excel format with 
the values I have selected. You can see here, I can now filter and say, I would like to know only the defects which are new and opened. So now you can see Excel has filtered the data and I can see here all the defects which are new and opened. And same, I can also go now for priority. I would like to see only urgent and very high. So the total is now the total record number is reduced. And now for the severity, I would like to go for critical only. So this is how you can use O data very easily to bring the data into Excel. And from here, you are free to do your pivot tables and whatsoever you can do in Excel uh, with graphs and charts, uh, you can build basically because now the data has been exported and is available in Excel.